guys, it's been a long time since I sat down in front of a camera and did a sit down video. So I have some notes. I just wanted to kind of do like a weight loss life channel update. I've been kind of MIA, so I want to go ahead and fill you guys in on everything that's been going on. I've been popping in here and there um, with videos like from our vacation and I just did a Fab Kids like haul and try on with Kaylee's. Um, but really I haven't been like vlogging or doing anything like that and I haven't done any like grocery hauls or what's for dinner videos or anything along those lines for a while. Um, basically there's been a lot of things all balled up into one that have caused all this to happen and for me to take a step back from YouTube. But um, the number one thing with um, <clears throat> the vacation vlogs, why it took me so long to get them up and also why it is completely <laughs> harder for me to do, well it was harder for me to do videos was because I was having camera issues. My vlogging camera did some weird stuff during vacation. so. Um, I think it's fixed now. Right now I'm using my actual video camera, which I haven't used in quite a while. It's actually my husband's. My father-in-law gave it to him. I haven't used it in a while, but um, he's not using it. So <laughs> the other thing that's been going on is just been crazy health issues. So I guess that this will kind of be a segue into what's going on with my weight loss. I did two updates. I was really into it. I tried I tried Advocare and I did a little review on that and stuff like that, but um, I've kind of not talked about it since. So basically, uh, I've been feeling not so good for a long, long time and I've known I had blood pressure issues and, you know, issues like that. So I just kind of shrugged it off, but for the past few months, it's been really extremely bad. To the point where I was so exhausted I could hardly get up. Um, my whole body was hurting, my joints were hurting, my hair was just like, it's it's very curly, um, dry hair, but the texture of it was worse than it had ever been and my nails were always breaking, my teeth were hurting, just I was a mess. like. A hot mess and I would tell my husband I feel like a 95 year old woman like I really feel like I'm dying so um, finally I decided to go to the doctor and I had blood work taken and I have Hashimoto hypothyroidism which is hypothyroidism but the Hashimoto part is an actually an autoimmune disease so basically um, my body was my body was fighting against my thyroid and my thyroid just is not working. Um, it's not as bad as a lot of other people, I guess, um, because I'm on a lower dosage. Okay, I'll, I'll get into that, but okay, I have Hashimoto hypothyroidism. I also have um, a vitamin B12 deficiency. I'm talking, um, I, don't, I don't remember what the range of numbers were, but I had, it was like in the 60s, I believe, and my B12 levels were like six so super extreme b12 deficiency which is no good for you because b12 actually gives you energy it's a metabolism booster it it does a lot and if you don't have it well you're gonna feel like crap like i did so um i have a b12 deficiency and I'm, i have notes so i make sure i stay on task with this um i was pre-diabetic which is not a surprise to me um both of my grandmothers are diabetic, so it's kind of in my blood. I'm assuming I'm probably going to be diabetic if I can't get rid of the, this now, like if I can't bring my levels down. And I also had a vitamin D deficiency, which seems to run in my family because my grandmother had a vitamin D deficiency. My mom has a vitamin D deficiency. My iron was also low. So, oh, and my good and bad cholesterol were in the lower, well, my good cholesterol was really low. Um, my bad cholesterol was in the lower range as well, which um, they were not too happy about either. So, what's going on? I've been going to the doctors, like, nonstop, just 
going. I, I think I went every two weeks for a while. I, I don't have another appointment now until October because I think what we're doing now is probably where we're going to stay. It's working so far. So, <laughs> um, so I'm taking supplements. I'm taking, uh, 1500 no I'm taking I'm taking 25 I guess micrograms I'm not sure exactly um, 2500 um, micrograms or milligrams I think it's MCG I don't know I'm not a doctor um, of B12 every day I take um, I think it's 1200 geez I should have brought the notes with me um, but I take two uh, fish oil pills a day. I take vitamin D, which is a prescribed vitamin um, D pill. I take that once a week. I also have to go monthly to get a B12 shot. And I'm also taking, uh, let me see if I can say this, levothyroxine, or also known as Synthroid, for my thyroid. We started off um, where she thought she was going to have to give me like 50 to 100 micros or macrograms I'm not really sure how to say that um like which one it is it's mcg anyways um <laughs> so she th started off thinking she was going to give me like 50 or, or 100 of that um but I don't react well to medication so then she decided that um I'd be better off taking a lower dosage and trying that out and then also you know with the b12 um, my thyroid wasn't off the charts. It was abnormal, but it wasn't like extremely abnormal. Um, just, I have all the signs of Hashimoto's, so she did give me a preliminary diagnosis for Hashimoto hypothyroidism, and my thyroid levels were completely off. But they weren't like to an extreme where I need a high do dosage of levothyroxine. So she gave me a low dosage. I'm taking 25 micrograms of that. And she would also like me to take a um, thyroid boosting supplement, which I'll have to go to like a Whole Foods or something like that to find. I haven't been able to find it in any of like the herb stores in my area. So I'll have to find one of those. She wants me to take all of those things. <laughs> um, I'm thinking for the whole pre-diabetes stuff I'm just thinking maybe I should cut I'm cutting I cut back off my carbs um, no like simple carbs I haven't been eating white rice or potatoes or bread anything like that um, I've been eating brown rice and quinoa and um, sweet potatoes I finally found a way that I can eat sweet potatoes that I actually like so I cut back on that, but I'm thinking maybe I can go back to a gluten-free or low-gluten diet, which I've done before because they suspected I had a gluten intolerance. So I'm looking into that. I'm also looking into like just doing like a 30-day sugar-free challenge, which I know how Jen Desit was talking about, um, I don't know, like a, a month back or something on her channel. Um, thinking of trying that I don't eat a lot of sugar I do put like um, I put stevia in my coffee when I have coffee which is not often um, I'm not eating carbs and I really I've cut back on fruit I'm just trying to reverse these effects of pre-diabetes because I don't want to be a diabetic so those are kind of things I'm thinking of and I don't know I might do videos on it I don't know if you guys would be interested in that also obviously trying to up my physical activity, which has been hard because I still do need another knee surgery, but also um, I've just been so tired. I'm starting to feel a little better this week has probably been the best week I've had in months. So hopefully um, I'll be able to do that and I would love to share it with you guys. So then the third thing that's kind of been going on is just I've been stressed out with obviously the health issues and just not feeling like I'm the mom I want to be and that's a big deal for me. So I just kind of took a step back from YouTube and I started to realize recently that taking this step back from YouTube probably wasn't helping my situation because I just, I, I needed an outlet and YouTube is that outlet for me. So what I'm going to try to do from now on is I'm just going to try to use YouTube as my outlet. That's what it is. It's my channel. It's my personal channel. I don't 
if I, you know, if I'm putting something out there to just like relieve my stress and nobody wants to watch it, that's fine with me. That's not what YouTube is about to me. I love getting new subscribers. I love sharing. I love helping people. But I, I also use YouTube as my outlet and I need to remember that and not back off so much. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I've kind of written out a list of all the stuff I want to put on my channel from here on out. Now, the first big thing I wanted to announce is that I will be going to the YouTube Mommy Meetup Conference. And this is in August in Chicago, and I get to meet a lot of wonderful, like, amazing YouTube moms and collaborate with them, and I'm so super, like, beyond nervous, anxious, and excited about it. Um, the hus my husband and kids will be coming to Chicago with me. I'm not sure. For the second, for the beginning, we're going to be doing collabs. For the second half, it'll be like a kid-friendly part, like meet and greet type thing. I'm not sure if they'll be coming to that. Um, I didn't buy my husband a ticket. The kids are free, but I didn't buy my husband a ticket. I might have to just go ahead and do that. But um, we're just going to treat it as like a weekend trip to Chicago we've never been so it's gonna be fun um so that's exciting and I've got a lot of fun collabs I'll be on other people's channels as well as have some people over on my channel so I will let you guys know like a whole rundown of all of that soon like an update like maybe right after the conference or before the conference however that works um so here's my list of things I'm thinking for my channel and I've got to hurry because my battery starting to get low. Um, so I'm definitely going to do a back to school series. My kids go back to school in the beginning of August. So I'm definitely thinking of doing like a school clothing haul and all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to go back to doing my grocery hauls and doing my dinners for the week. Um, not sure if I'll do it every week, but maybe like a few weeks out of the month. I'm also thinking of doing like lunchbox what's in our lunchbox type videos and also like what I eat in a day with all these health issues and stuff. I feel like that could help someone. I want to get some recipes out there. I have so many great recipes and I, I always want to share them, but I never do. So I want to do that. I'm also thinking about doing like a Pinterest flop, winner flop type thing. I've seen that. Um, Amy Dream Flight does them. So I'm thinking of doing stuff like that. Um, I want to get back to doing more day in the lives. Um, some more like cleaning and organizing tips, uh, cleaning schedules, things like that. Um, also, I want to start doing like some time management type stuff. Like maybe I would love to do a plan with me. I love watching those videos. So I'm thinking of maybe doing a plan with me video here and there like every, every other month or something. I also... Um, for right now, I want to do my current favorites. I found a lot of cool stuff that I'm loving that I want to share with you guys. I don't necessarily have like monthly favorites every month because I'm kind of a stick to what I know type person, but I want to do like my current favorites a few times, um, maybe like a few times a year or something, maybe by season, not sure. Yeah, so that's kind of my plans for my channel, and that's what's been going on. I'm back. Hopefully, I will do a day in the life or something here or there. Um, just, I just want to share me, and I want to stop hiding behind the stress and hiding um, everything from the camera and from you guys. Um, I love YouTube, and I really want to use it as the outlet that it is for me. This year is going to be insanely busy. Uh, junior wanted to do football so we just signed him up on Monday for tackle football <laughs> and um, Kaylee's will be doing dance classes this year so there's that and we have the religious education stuff that they go to CCD classes which I also um, I'm going to be a volunteer teacher for that again I did it in the summer for two weeks I did the preschoolers and kindergartners which was a trip um, <laughs> So I will be doing the fifth grade for during the school year. So I volunteered for that. I also um, I also still have my Girl Scouts troop, and so I'm still running. Also, the I'm president of the volunteer um, parent volunteers for the school so like for the PTO and stuff when they need volunteers 
I go out, I, you know, I, I need to help them get those volunteers. I also have like a parent volunteer club to help the teachers out in the school. So I'm still president of that. Um, I did it last year too. It was, it was new, so I didn't have as much participation as I wanted, but I need to do that again this year. So it's going to be a lot of time management and stuff. And I, for the most part, I think I'm pretty good at it. So I'd love to share that stuff with you now. Let me stop blabbing on and on and on. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. For all of you out there, thanks for sticking with me and staying subscribed. And all my new subscribers, thanks for subscribing. Even though I didn't have much content going up, I kept getting emails of new subscribers, and that's exciting. Um, but I did talk about everything on my list. So I'm going to go. It's actually only 7 o'clock. Let's see time it is. Oh, it's 7.32. I don't know if you can see that. It's 7.32. But anyways, <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching and for being here for me. Thumbs up if you're excited for all the new stuff that's coming to the channel and if you're super excited about the YouTube Mom Conference. Uh, I am beyond excited about that. Um, don't forget to look down below and other for other places to find me. I have Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, I also have Periscope, which I have to add down there. I haven't really used it, but I'm thinking. I, it's been very popular now. I'm just not really good with new um, social medias, but we're going to look into that. Thank you guys for watching again, and I will see you guys very soon for a new video. Bye, guys.